Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. Hi. Cool. Um, okay. So some of you might actually be wondering um, what, what what's that post up? That my, my last two posts have both been about these uh, winter winter wheat growing. It's what, what's what's going on, right? Okay. I'll give you a rundown of the full process that I'm wanting to go through with that. There is a reason, obviously, that I'm growing that winter wheat at the local community food center. And the reason is, actually it's not just winter wheat, it's quinoa as well, as I mentioned in the post. And the reason that I'm growing that winter wheat quinoa um, mix there is because I decided that I wanted to um, try distilling starch from that winter wheat. And uh, I know there's many better ways to get starch. So yes, before you start your um, ah, you silly person thing, uh, I, I realize that. It's uh, a question of wanting to try distilling the starch specifically from wheat. Uh, and the reason that I want starch is because I've, identi I, I've identified a process through which I can actually make my own bioplastics, um, which some of you will immediately recognize the weight of and some of you won't. So for those of you who won't, I've, I've actually mentioned a couple times before about wanting to start my own 3D print, printing. If I'm able to make my own bioplastics, and if I am able to get it to the right viscosity and hardness, I'll be able to use my own bioplastics in my own 3D printer. Um, and obviously share with all of you how to go about uh, using the same process. So that's what I'm working on within um, my winter wheat growing. Uh, that's, that's the reason that I'm growing the winter wheat. Some other cool things that are going on right now is, um, I don't know how many of you have heard of Oculus Rift. So probably about eight to 10 years ago, there was a really big jump in the market for virtual reality systems. And you'd go into a lot of digital cafes and there'd be the big, um, stand on uh, walkers that you could get up and stand on and you put the big bulky goggle sets on and and you get into this really horrible low resolution uh, virtual reality um, world well oculus rift has identified um, particular processes that not only allow them to show you virtual reality in high resolution close enough that it, don't, that it feels like it might actually be real, um, but also they've, they've broken through one of the biggest uh, drawbacks that existed um, back then 10 years ago when there was the big virtual reality uh, blow up was that um, probably about 25% of people couldn't actually use the virtual reality systems that were being made because um, if, the, if, if the refresh rate on the screen while you're turning your head is slower than what your mind thinks uh, it should be, it, it actually ends up, it, it gives you vertigo and basically makes you nauseous. So. Um, Oculus Rift has identified and, and reduced the latency on these sets that they're offering um, to the point where I think it's maybe like a 5% now, if that, of people will suffer vertigo and nausea because of using the sets. So Oculus Rift launches next year. And the really cool part about this, the reason that I wanted to mention it, is that one of my friends um, is developing a piece of hardware for it, a, a glove, actually, that will allow you to interact in the virtual reality world. Um, this, this glove is a cost-effective glove that will basically allow you to exist even further within the virtual reality world. Obviously, you're not very well going to want to be walking around inside a virtual reality and have no ability to make use of your hands. That would kind of suck. 
So that's the reason he's developing that piece of hardware. And I don't know, I'm really excited to see where that goes. Uh, like I mentioned, Oculus Rift launches next year, around Christmas actually, and he'll be launching around the exact same time as well. So, look forward to seeing updates on that, and look forward to seeing updates on my starch refining process, and then further on, my bioplastic um, process. I hope you all are well, have yourself a beautiful life, a beautiful day, a beautiful week, whatever it may be. <laughs>